Hi, I'm Heath Manning of Manning Cues. In this video, I'm going to uh, talk about bank shots. Wasting time from my uh, YouTube uh, subscriber page has uh, requested a uh, video on bank shots, so that's why I'm working on this one now. Uh, bank shots can be difficult. Uh, many things affect bank shots. How hard you hit the bank. Um, what English you put on your cue ball, table conditions, um, what tip you're using, because tips react differently to cue balls and how they're chalked and their density. Uh, basically, I will show you uh, how I bank, how I make the majority of my bank shots, and uh, why they go in. I'm going to talk to you about um, how to hit a bank shot and why. Uh, parallel shifting, how that works, and how to figure out um, where the natural line of a bank is uh, first, because that will help you make your bank. So I'm going to focus the camera down on the table now, and I'm going to take you through a couple shots. Okay, the first shot I'm going to show you is just a standard bank that you may come into in the pool hall. Okay, it doesn't matter where the balls are, but what we're going to do is we're going to measure the bank first. In order to measure the bank in the video, I just want you to follow what my cue stick is doing, okay, and look at the diamonds on the table. That's very important. So, for the first, for the first shot, what we've got here is we've got a cue ball and an object ball and you want to put it in the side pocket. So, in the, in the start of the video I said to you, find the natural line, okay? You're working with half a table right now, right, at the one end of the table. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find the naturals. Here's a natural bank side if the cue ball, if the object ball, sorry, was on this line through the table and you can see that it's not. I know that that's a natural bank okay because here's my starting point at the butt of my cue. One, two, three, four diamonds away is my intended pocket. So if I'm four diamonds away on the long rail, the long rail is always the rail closest to you, I need to be two diamonds away on the short rail. So if this is my zero one, two diamonds away gives me a natural shot into the side pocket. So, which most of us know, and we can shoot that and make that shot. So there's the natural. Okay, now, the object ball isn't on that line. So, then we find the next natural shot. We want to find the most natural shot that is closest to your object ball. So let's move up to the first diamond right here. So if this is the first diamond, I put my butt on the first diamond. Now across from it is another diamond, so that's your zero. One, two, three diamonds away now from my target pocket. So if I'm three diamonds away on the long rail, I need to be one and a half on the short rail. So there's my one, there's my half. Well, you can see that at my half, coming from this diamond, my cue is almost directly over my object ball. So there's the natural line, almost. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep that line of the cue stick and I'm just going to roll over till I get to the center, keeping the same angle. Now I've done two things. I've determined my contact point on my object ball and I've determined my contact point on my rail. So now I know that exactly right here on the edge of the rail, don't aim at the diamonds or don't aim back behind it. You're always going to aim at the edge of the rail right through your object ball. It doesn't matter where your cue ball is. That's your contact point to make the bank with no spin, with a regular stroke. If you hit these shots harder, you're going to come up short of the pocket. If you hit them really light, you can go past the pocket. 
Also, if you hit them really light. Now, I'm playing on a very accurate table in my home. If you hit a shot really light in the pool hall, you may not even get close to the pocket because it could drift completely. If you play uh, at the pool hall, your rails will react differently than what you're used to if you have a home table. So there's many elements that change a shot. But we can get you to the point where you know where your contact point is on your object ball and on your rail. So let's just put the cue ball back on the table. There is my there is my shot. It doesn't matter if my cue ball is here or here. There is my shot to angle to make that ball. So now I know exactly where I want to hit the object ball and the rail and now I should be able to pot that shot with a regular stroke. So let's just shoot that. and it goes right in. Now, I did a couple things there. I found the natural shot. I found uh, what I did there when I rolled over on top. That's called parallel shifting, when I went over top of my object ball to find my contact point. That's called parallel shifting. Um, I'll shoot the same shot again, roughly. Okay, I'll find my contact point again. So, I remember this was our zero, right across the table, diamond to diamond, three diamonds away. So that means one and a half diamonds up on that side from the zero, right? So now I'm going to parallel shift over, okay? Uh, still keeping the same angle of the cue. So there's my contact point again, and there is my um, contact on my rail. So now I'm going to hit this a little firmer, and what you're going to see is you're going to see that shot come and hit uh, the rail before the pocket because what happens is you compress the rail with the object ball and it shortens the shot up when you hit hard. So I'm going to do the same shot, I already know my contact points, and I'm going to hit it hard now. Okay, we just did the bank side shot, now we're going to do a bank corner shot. We're going to throw an object ball out there, we're going to throw a cue ball out there, and we're going to figure out this shot. If you've played any uh, pool, you can kind of guess right off the start uh, where your bank shot is going to be. Okay? Don't look at your cue ball, remember that. Only look at your object ball. So, we've got an object ball sitting here, and we want to find out where the natural line would be. Okay? So, I know that it's going to be somewhere in here to make that bank shot over on this rail. But I don't know exactly where, so I'm going to guess and I might make it or I might not. That's the mentality of a lot of, of, a lot of players. They don't know how to figure out the exact spot where to hit. So instead of guessing, what we're going to do is we're going to find the natural. So let's start here and make this line my zero. doesn't matter that my cue ball's there. Get that out of the way. That's my zero line. From my zero line, diamond there to diamond here, I am one, two diamonds away from my target pocket. If I'm two diamonds away from my target pocket, that means my natural across from me would be half the distance. So that would be one diamond away from the zero. So now I know naturally from my start of my zero that that is going to be my exact contact point naturally to make that shot. Now, I'm actually right over my object ball. That was just luck. Say I'm not, okay? If your natural is here to make the shot, you know to parallel shift over the object ball so your cue shaft is directly in the middle of the ball as shown there. Now I've got my contact point on my object ball and my contact point on my rail. And I also know exactly where I'm going to hit to make the shot, right here. So now when I'm getting down, there's no guessing. So I know where I'm going to hit the object ball and the rail to make that shot. So the only thing left to do is to get down and hit it. And you make the shot. Now, as long as you find your natural every time and you parallel shift, you will make your bank shots. And remember, 
Always find the natural line that is closest to where your object ball is laying. Okay? You don't want to have an object ball there and say, oh, well, if I'm, if this is my target, if I'm one, two, three, four, five diamonds away, if this is my zero, that means half the distance is two and a half, one, two, and a half. I don't want a parallel shift from way over here to way over here because that doesn't work. That will send you way over here. Okay? You don't want that. You always want to find the line that is closest to your object ball. Again, cue ball doesn't matter. You want to find your contact point of your object ball and of your rail. That's what will make your banks when you're shooting a regular stroke. I can't stress that enough. If you hit hard or soft or use a lot of English, everything changes. But if you just want to practice on potten bank shots, this is a system that works with a regular stroke. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the natural. Okay. If we're one, two, three, four diamonds away, that means we have to go two diamonds ahead across because that's half the distance. Well, I'm still quite a ways from my cue ball. So let's move up. I am one, two, three diamonds away. That means one and a half diamonds across from me. There's one, there's a half. Now I'm very close to my contact point. So I know where my contact point is on my object and my rail. So I get my cue ball out there, and if I hit that just as I just did, it'll go in. Okay? If you practice that with a regular stroke, you will make your shots. Um, as soon as you add spin, you have to compensate for that. That will be in uh, part two of this video when it's made, but uh, videos do take some time to make. And uh, also with uh, me having a primary job and uh, working on uh, billiard equipment, I also uh, sell. I also sell and uh, repair uh, billiard equipment. So. If you guys uh, need any work done or have any questions, even if you're looking to purchase a queue, I can uh, get prices that uh, are much cheaper normally than what you're seeing them for. Uh, give me a call. Go onto my website, uh, which is shown on the bottom of the screen there, uh, and uh, just give me a shout. Send me an email. And if you have any other requests for videos, please let me know. Thanks, guys.